So just two days now before President Biden takes the debate stage, his administration's top diplomat in China is out with a rare rebuke of the ruling Communist Party. Ambassador Nicholas Burns telling The Wall Street Journal in an exclusive that Beijing is making it near impossible to improve relations, which was the goal from a recent summit, and making very aggressive moves to denigrate America, to tell a distorted story about American society, American history, and American policy. Let's bring in Michael Pillsbury, senior fellow for China Strategy at the Heritage Foundation. Michael, great to have you with us. Um, he, he, they Thanks go into that. length uh, in this Wall Street Journal piece about the kind of treatment that Americans and American companies are getting in China right now that I think people are not maybe that aware of. Um, one of here's a bit from that piece. Some attendees of the U.S. Embassy organized events in China, <clears throat> which include talks about mental health, Panel discussions on women's entrepreneurship, documentaries, cultural performances have been interrogated by Chinese officials, sometimes at home late at night. Is it safe for these Americans to be in China at this point? Well, I went over in October just a few months ago, Martha, and I have to admit I felt quite uneasy myself. Mm. Uh, the security services are cracking down on American companies, American tourists. Uh, it's a very unpleasant place to visit compared to in the past. But I think what's actually happened here is a career ambassador telling the truth, obviously highly frustrated uh, by his two years there. He is exposing Joe Biden's China policy is not working. And this is happening on the eve of a presidential debate where CNN, you know, probably has to ask a question about China. That will open so. up the question of the laptop. Uh, but this interview is really quite extraordinary. I know Nick Burns very well. He's a highly regarded professional career officer. No, no dog in the political fight. I'm sure he's going to vote for Biden. Mm -hmm. But this revelation that Biden's China policy is failing and we're being treated very badly, this is, uh, is highly damaging to the Biden campaign. I'd be surprised if Anthony Blinken and Jake Sullivan aren't on the phone right now with Nick Burns saying, take it back, take it back, say that relations with China are good. But of course, he won't do that because he's an honest man. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we don't hear a lot about China from this administration, about the strategy to deal with them when we're clearly in a Cold War, as you have outlined um, in your book. L let's take a flashback. This is President Biden in 2019 and then in 2021. Watch. <laughs> China is going to eat our lunch. Come on, man. They're not bad folks, folks. But guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, not they're competition for us. I was on the phone for two straight hours with Xi Jinping. You know, they're going to we don't get moving. They're going to eat our lunch. <sighs> Your reaction to that, sir? Well, Biden obviously understands that the Chinese are on the road to surpass America. Mm -hmm. uh, they want to have global primacy. They want to have their currency be the, the reserve, not the dollar. Uh, they want to not answer questions on the COVID virus. They want things their way. Uh, and Trump did a really excellent job of dealing with Xi Jinping in person, by letter, by phone, getting results. He actually had negotiations, talks, written agreements. Uh, Biden's done none of that. So in the debate, I'd be surprised if there's if CNN tries to conceal all this and doesn't ask both men, what is your China policy? And especially with Biden, why is China so angry toward you that they're having military maneuvers uh, in the South China Sea and around Taiwan? What have you done, Mr. Biden, to antagonize China? Well, that would be a big um, question, it, I would yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely. I hope we hear it. I hope it, they, they ask defining questions on this issue. It's clearly the biggest threat that we face. We're going to hear a lot about it and experience a lot about it over the next four years in this country, to be sure, as a threat you've laid out for years. Michael Pillsbury, thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.